everyone, Rika here, and welcome back to the hunt. So, I'm not looking forward to this. There we go. I'm not looking forward to this because I hate stealth things. I'm not very good at them. So, I guess let's just try... Oh. Through the dragon's den? Oof. Ah! I think I'm taking damage. Oh god. Oh god, lava. Wait, what was that? That's something? Uh, how did I check the menu? Enter, uh. How. Uh, what did I check the menu with? How did I do that? I'm ready? Shift? No. Uh. Uh. Um, I guess I can't open the menu in here. Looks like we're almost through it, maybe? Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! No! That was the wrong way to go! Oh, this is so hard for me to tell the difference! boy. Oh boy. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, geez. Cool. Did we make it? Oh, there's more. Great. That's what I always wanted. Then why did I come in here? Not sure what the point of this is. I think I saw a path. There had to have been a point, right? I mean, there's always a point to this stuff. Like, there's either a note, or something that you're supposed to... An item that you can get? I went up there, that doesn't go anywhere. Now that I see the, like, purple outline, or pink outline, I, I can't really tell. It's hard for me to tell colors that are too close together. Uh. Oh, 
that's just decoration, okay. There's gotta be a point to this. Why is there a dragon's den if there's nothing to be done with the dragon's den? Okay, hold on. Alright, so that's not where I want to go. I want to explore this forest. Wait, is that literally the only... Okay, so I just need to not get caught by him. Go! I died. That's not good. Okay. There's gotta be... There's gotta be something else. There's something I'm missing, I can I can tell. There's always something with this game. He's gonna come back down, right? So once he comes back down, then that's the time for me to go. So let's go. What's this? You hear faint whispering coming from the light. This is another memory, I think. Listen closely. Okay, let's go. While Apollo was hunting in the forest, he saw young Cupid drawing his weapon. Apollo was Amused to see so small a child attempting archery, which Apollo himself was a god of. Overtaken by a comical spirit, he began to poke fun at Cupid. That's not a good idea. You know, infants shouldn't, like you, shouldn't play with such dangerous weapon. Oh, wait a second. That's right, I forgot. That's no weapon, it's a toy! All you can do is make people fall in love! Oh, so scary! <laughs> you cannot fathom how scary I can be. With my bow and arrow, you are as far below me... Wait. You are as far below me as all living things are beneath you, a god. Oh. I don't know if I like where this is going.
<sighs> now, Cupid kept two kinds of arrows on his person. One had a sharp golden tip, which could fill the heart with love. The other filled the heart with deep hate with its blunt lead tip. If hit, the wounded one would either love or hate the first person seen. And so, as Cupid spied on Apollo during his hunt, seeking for the prime moment to exact his vengeance, he saw the nymph Daphne? Daphne? I don't know. I, I can barely see this stuff. Hunting in the woods as well. Without hesitation, he shot Apollo with a golden arrow and Daphne with a lead one. Oh, I see. I see. So he's gonna fall in love with her. She's gonna hate him. That's great. That's That sounds like a sitcom. Apollo and Daphne. Oh, God. Ah! What was that feeling? As soon as Apollo saw Daphne, his heart was consumed by passion, uh, passionate love. But alas, when the nymph turned and saw him, all of Apollo's wit, charm, and beauty could not prevent Daphne's heart from filling with utter disgust and contempt. Please come back. Please come back. Why must you run from me? So the god and the girl both ran as fast as they could. He driven by love, she driven by hate, but Apollo's love sped him on and would not let up. Daphne, exhausted, saw the water of her father's... of her father... Penance? and in a final effort called out. Father, help! If my beauty is what eggs him on, then rid me of it! Change my appearance! <coughs> Daphne, no! Okay. I'm not sure I get where this is going. Oh, Daphne, Daphne. Did you hate me that much? I've never seen Apollo so miserable. Hmm. You think after all we'd been through together, he'd have learned to curtail all fantasies of romance. Yet here he is, weeping over a woman that despised him, and a love he'll never have. It's sickening. But still, isn't that too cruel a... Too cruel? Too cruel? What do you know of cruel? Neither Mia nor you had to suffer Harris wrath for your mother's little affiliation with our dear loving father. Yes, Zeus was very promiscuous with all the women. I think that's the right word. Don't judge me on my vocabulary. I think I got the right word. Hera wasn't even with Zeus when my mother was pregnant, and we suffered for it anyway. Hera still scorns me and Apollo. Meanwhile, the happy-go-lucky mischief-maker for who for some reason gets to be exempt from Hera's wrath, thinks that he can lecture me on how I'm too cruel? Ha! What a joke. What a joke indeed. Diana, I never meant. However, I'm not so, uh, I am not so soft-hearted. Aside from my mother and brother, I have no room for pity, mercy, or love. I will never give my love to any man. Never will I be with er, never will I be with any woman who loses their purity to a man's yearning. Anyone who toys with me will pay for it. 
The sooner Apollo understands that, too, the better for him. Apollo's misery uh, did not end there. Whether by rejection or death, Apollo could never find happiness with any woman. His loneliness turned to sadness. He was convinced he could never legitimately win a woman's affections, and this only served to make him cruel. So, when the wise... When the wise centaur Chiron, seeking to end his loneliness, suggested taking Daphne's sister Cyrene as his wife, Apollo instead went down in the form of a wolf, kidnapped the nymph, and as he was, oh dear! Okay, um... I guess I'm gonna have to put a warning at the beginning of this one. Um, and as he was, raped and abandoned her in an unfamiliar land. It is as a wolf! A wolf! I don't... I don't want to know how that works. He's a wolf. She's a nymph. I just don't want to... That sounds... That doesn't sound pleasant. At all. Despite the raping. Even if they were like... Even if they were like consensual i don't want to know how that works like that's just that sounds painful okay can we move on from this i'm gonna have to put some warnings and i gotta remember to do that because guys that's some heavy topics we're talking about here how do i get out of here Okay. Wait, there's got to be... There's more to this forest, right? Okay, I don't know, I don't, huh. Okay, that's where that is. So what's over here? Is there any, anything over here? Oh my gosh, I wish I could see. That would... Oh! Is that my foxy friend? For now, return to the fire pit and search east of it. There's a hidden path in the trees. Okay. Okay. Head east. Alright. Well, now we're gonna have to try to get out of here without getting seen. That's lovely. But I was over east of the fire pit. There was nothing there! Wait. This is a dead end. Okay, so we're going to wait for him to come to where he comes to, because we should be able to follow him out, maybe? Maybe? I don't know. Is he...
Well, at least we got to save. Okay. Okay, so I gotta wait for him to get all the way out. And then hopefully... Oh, nope, that's... That's the... That's the memory. Okay. So I wait for him to get all the way out. And then... I guess I'll be back when I find this hidden path, so here we go. No, I tried that. I, I tried that. Did I have to get to the fox first? Are you serious? a big tree. The tree begrudgingly mumbles something. Who are you? What do you want? You want to get past? Well, I don't know. What do you what have you done for me? Tell you what, I've been thirsty for some time. The water hasn't been very good. If you bring me some fresh water, I'll let you through. Well, we already have that. Oh, you already have some on you. Give it here. Give the water. Why not? You wedge the vial into a hole in the trunk or in in the tree trunk. Vial shatters as the tree swallows the water. Well, there goes our vial, guys! I guess we can't use that anymore. Ah, that's good. It's been a while since I tasted good water like this. I suppose I could let you through. The gap in the tree widens. Seems like you could squeeze through now. And it's through the tree, I guess. Oh. Well, here we go. Um, can I, can I talk to you? How do I talk to you? Seems the smoky air affects this part of the forest, too. Speaking of which... Try to watch your step further on. The weather is bound to make the locals rather irritable. You've got enough problems chasing your hide without getting... On the Mandrake's bad side? What? No! Can we not? Can we please not? <sighs> okay. You know what? We're going to save in another slot. I'm going to end this episode and we'll pick this up in another one. <sighs> Why? Why is this game just so horrible for this poor deer? And I don't even know where it's going. Like the memories are telling a story, but I'm not quite sure I'm picking up what they're putting down if you get what I'm saying. So, I don't know. <sighs> Anyways, with that said, we'll continue this in the next episode. I think. I forget what I'm gonna post after this. It doesn't matter. You guys will see however I post stuff is however I post stuff. Anyway, um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Just remember, everything blue is awesome. Rika, signing out.